Hey guys, what's going on? Satmus Cube here, or Amar, and uh, a little bit of a channel update, plus a um, little bit of a new series, I guess you could call it. Um, so yeah, update, um, because I've got a lot of exams coming up, there's going to be less frequent uploads. Um, I apologise for that, but it just, it's just, it's got to be done, because uh, I kind of nail this shit. So, um, yeah, my exams finish 13th of June. Um, so after that there will just be free flowing content because I've got a three month break there where I'm just doing nothing uh, just be like literally that's when my holidays start um, so yeah after that there will be a lot of content uh, new series planned for, for then uh, lower league series good challenge good good challenge fucking hell but yeah that's about it um, skin don't ask me <laughs> just FM base basically um, and the I've just downloaded the fucking biggest face pack on the internet for Football Manager. I've got everybody's face. Everybody, look. Colin Gelati. Face! <laughs> I've got everybody's face. Um, so, yeah. The one thing I love about this skin as well, though, backgrounds. I could just quick time change it and do that bullshit, but I'm not because I, I can't be fucked. But, yeah. Uh, actually, no, I'm changing to that. I like the look of that. But, yeah. Um... This series is basically for those um, who follow my streams regularly. Uh, basically, what I do is I pick a. I, I started a new one for live streaming. I started Leicester, didn't really enjoy that, so I started a new one, West Brom, as you can remember. Or as you may be able to remember, they were one of the teams I give you a choice for um, for a new series, but you chose Valencia. So I thought I might as well give West Brom a go. And um, I've just been doing this in live streams and stuff like that. Now, obviously, the li expert license bullshit starts today so it becomes a trial so I don't think I'll be streaming a lot in a while but I'm gonna do what Jub does for his Liverpool save or what he has been doing recently and just do seasonally updates because I, I said I would give you updates for people that are interested anyway um, I mean obviously I don't expect this to to go big and become my main series it's just something on the side I guess for now I'm really enjoying the save um, I've done unbelievably well in the first season um, I can't believe how well I've done uh, it's, um, it's literally unbelievable um, I should stop saying that because I mean, it's, it's going to lose the effect. But it was a really, really good first season. I'm really proud of the team and how I got on. So we might as well go through my transfer centre. Uh, we'll go for history. So the see the these are the transfers that I made at the beginning of the season. I brought in Jack Robinson, Ol Martin Olsen, Gary Caldwell, Cadlech, and Bruno Altmanga. Now, they were all recommended to me by people in the stream. Um, actually, Olsen wasn't, uh, but and Olsen and Caldwell weren't, but everyone else was. Um, actually, no, they, these three literally were just recommended, so I got them because I needed them in positions. So two left-backs, really, a centre-back, overpaid for him. His stats are wicked, but he played shit, but uh, I don't know. Okay, I'll just give you a moment to colour coordinate yourself. I mean, the light green's the over 16. That's the only thing I hate, is all... You have to get used to the colours, and obviously the darker you go, the worse stats you get. I mean, yellow is like dire shit. Um, orange is pretty bad. Forty, like as you can see, fourteen, eleven to fourteen is pretty average, and then fifteen upwards is sixteen upwards is pretty good. Um, yeah, really good. And then I sold all these bullshit players. Don't even need them. Um, I'm still getting rid of a few of them. So, I managed to sell Simon Cox for 2.7 million in January. Fucking well chuffed with that. To hold all the money up front as well. Absolutely amazing. Um, I managed in January then to go out and buy a marquee signing in Eunice Bellhanda. Very, very good young player. Um, I think he just... A goal recently, I think um, it was on YouTube, a little bit of a... Uh, not viral, but it was pretty big. And he just got an overhead kick against Marseille. It was unbelievable. It was it was fantastic. It was such a goal. Like it didn't have much power on it, but it just like found its way into the back of the net. Second signing of the month, I went for Enzonzi. Very good, promising young player. Um, I love in the face packs, man. <laughs> Fucking completes the game. But yeah, I've got all the kit packs and shit as well now for all the major countries. Um, yeah, I've pretty much completed my FM. Like it's a full game now, literally. Um, Actually, the only thing I could do is change like the, the like the squad like the name fixes for like Premier League and Champions League, but I don't give a fuck about that to be honest. But yeah, in Zonzi, uh, potential to be better than uh, better than Malumbu. Very very interesting. Malumbu probably best centre mid. Um, and yeah, if I go to transfer centre again, 
these are the players that are coming in at the end of the season. Obviously, I've just confirmed Ben Foster's deal. Um, Four million was the agreed price. I was happy to pay that. I'm also looking to get a reserve goalkeeper because I haven't offered our reserves another contract. Um, Carlos Vieira, one of the players coming in, is out. Simon Choi and Shana. Uh, his replacement was Enzonzi, and his replacement will be Fierro. But uh, I've got a few poachers now, so um, I might be looking to get a big man in, perhaps someone like Cadozo. And I thought Cadozo would be a player that could turn the club's fortunes around and maybe make this a, a big club uh, and a club where people want to go, sort of like a revolution uh, of Man City, I guess, but uh, not obviously with the takeover. But yeah, that's the transfers. Let's look at the Premier League then. Tottenham finished first, the bastards. Um, from literally, I started the season off saying mid table finish, so around here somewhere. Uh, and then. January came and I said top half because I was doing really well. I was like, well, I was I was eighth at the time and I managed to pull along a brilliant string of results together and managed to get into six. Now this was the table for a long time. It was top. It was Man City, Tottenham, United, Liverpool, Chelsea, Arsenal, us, Everton, Fulham, and there was literally a, a point gap between first and fifth, and it was it was astounding. Now Arsenal didn't really get going this season. They did pretty poorly. Uh, Liverpool, on the last day of the season, Liverpool got leapfrog, uh, leapfrogged by Chelsea into fourth because of goal difference. Fucking amazing. They were fifth, and I was literally a point away from Chelsea. But I, my team just collapsed near the end of the season, and um, I don't know. Have I got? Yeah, I've just got Barclays Premier League, so this is good. So um, after this, I'll show you the Carling Cup and the uh, FA Cup. But friendlies, yeah, pretty average. I had a pr quite a lot of friendlies compared to normal. Started off the season then, um, good 6 fucking one thrashing of uh, rivals Wolves, Derby, 6-1 win, fantastic, 4-2 loss at Liverpool, T took it, and then we went on a good run there, 3-0, three, three clean sheets in a row, three big fucking wins in a row, um, and yeah, then we, I don't know what I did against Newcastle, all this has been live streamed by the way, um, except, for, actually, I th other than these two, um, it was live streamed, everything else was live streamed, um, Actually, I think the, like just the middle chunk of the season was live stream. To be honest with you, I think I did the first and the last bit, and yeah, I just stormed through. I was really enjoying it. So yeah, we got these three wins, and then we—I don't know what I did at Newcastle. I just fucked up the team talk basically, and I gave up. <laughs> so we just lost through one away at level at Newcastle. Managed to snatch a one 0 win here at Arsenal. Absolutely fantastic. Um, fucking hell, big fucking kit. Fucking big kit. Uh, but yeah, Shane Long getting on the goal scoring sheet there. Why the fuck is it so big? Yeah, I'm not liking the big kit thing. Um, not Chelsea. Then we played Chelsea and we managed to snatch a 2 2 draw. Unbelievable, Jeff. Unbelievable. Um, as you can see there, 1 0 down, 1 1. 2 1 down, 2 2. Fantastic. Thrashed another rival, 5 0 Aston Villa. Pretty piss poor Aston Villa squad. Um, Shane Long, Shane Long scored a lot, more top goal scorer for the club this season, but missed about three penalties this season. Uh, very weird near the end of the season as well. Get the fuck off my screen, you prick. Everton, 1 0 loss. That game we really should have drew. 1 1 draw against Stoke, we should have won that by a fucking country mile. Swansea, we just didn't turn up. We deserved the loss, to be honest with you. Then we won against Norwich, and then lost against Bolton and Man City. Couldn't do anything against Man City. All this has been live streamed, by the way, from from Wigan onwards. All this bullshit has been live streamed. We lost four 0 against Tottenham. I only got live streamed that. Um, I think Tottenham onwards. I didn't live stream at all. No, yeah, I didn't. So from Tottenham onwards, as you know, after that Man. No, wait, hang on. Where's that Wolves fixture? Because there's this one Wolves fixture where I just rage quit because. It pissed me off. So here we go. Actually, no. All of this has been live streamed up to Wolves. Up to Wolves. Then I rage quit and didn't live stream it again. Then we lost to the league leaders, Tottenham. I had nothing. I couldn't do anything. Five 0 against Fulham. Good win. Good win. Again, another five 0 spanking. That's the third one of the season. Three three against Wolves. Un. I couldn't believe this. Like we should have won this game. We should have won that game. We were three 0 up, and then we drew three three. I rage quit. I rage quit the stream, and I, I fucked off. And then I just played the rest of the season out, and it went pretty well. Um, rest of the season, actually. Well, as you can see, we started 
we played Liverpool, Man U, hard fixtures. Got a point out of those. I don't think I'd get any, but a uh, good point, I think. Then we went on a good tear up on the Premier League. I guess you could fuck off. You could say um, good three wins in a row there. But uh, as you know, the Premier League table like repeats itself in the game because it doesn't have an intelligent database to like mix it up for some reason. But yeah, um, oh, I can't do that. Lean, I just had my leg up on my foot rest and like my my hamstrings were like like stretching. Um, but yeah, anyway, lost to Arsenal. Couldn't do anything. They just overpowered us. Managed to fucking beat Chelsea at home. Don't understand that. Don't understand that at all. We just snatched the win there. Drew against Man City. Oh, I'm getting increasingly angry with this bullshit. But yeah, Villa managed to beat them. Good tear up again. Good run of games. Very good run of games. And then we just collapsed near the end of the season. We could have maybe finished fifth, uh, maybe even fourth, but we just collapsed against Norwich, Sunderland, Tottenham. Uh, and then obviously Man U we couldn't do much about, but Fulham we got a good draw and we managed to get two points out of Sunderland and Tottenham of all people as well. Tottenham we managed to get a point of I was absolutely I was I was amazed with that but obviously we got 1-0 up and I was a bit disappointed to concede but what can you do? So if we go to the Premier League this is going to be fucking long this is I might as well go to transfers and show you all of the transfers uh, the biggest transfer was Eunice Bahanda to me 26 million. Don't give a fuck don't really give a fuck Guy turned to Arsenal. Montpella, uh, Montillo to Man City. Is he any good? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think he's any good. Adil Rami went to Liverpool and so did Cadozo. Two of the signings of the season, in my opinion. Like, my Valencia save. He's amazing. I, 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 I've fallen in love with Rami from my Valencia save. That is a deal and a half. 14 million. Fucking deal. Fucking deal. Cadozo, really upset I couldn't get him really because again absolutely outstanding player his goal scoring record is unbelievable for for Liverpool as well now 11 goals in 16 games and 6 assists that is that is amazing I, I don't know I'm unlucky I guess for me have a look at some of the awards then uh, Premier League Barclays, Premier League uh, no, Golden Glove for the season go to Gomez Joe Hart and then Reyna pretty good most clean sheets uh, manager of the season went to Harry Redknapp for winning the league. Then Ferguson, then me. But upset he didn't go to me. To be honest with you, um, I felt I deserved it. But what can you do? What can you do? Uh, team of the season went like that. Adam Wingy uh, up front. Shane Long on the bench. Two of my players. Uh, them two scoring pretty good goals. Let's have a look. I'll show you now. 19 goals, 18 goals respectively. Chris Brunt 11 assists. Morrison 10 assists. Four players. Four ma those are my players of the season, all four of them. Absolutely unbelievable. But yeah, Wayne Rooney getting an unbelievable 36 goals. Fantastic from him. Breaking a Premier League record there. Um, And yeah. What the f- Why are there so many left-backs? Evra, Akoto, Clichy, Santos and Enrique. Wow. Fucking hell. Right wingers this year must have been shite. Uh, but yeah. Team of the season then. Ecstatic that Odin Wingy and Shane Long could just about get in there. Top scorer of the season, as I said, Wayne Rooney. Odin Wingy and then Shane Long third. Um, as you can see, 19 goals, 8 assists, 18 goals, 5 assists, 36 appearances, 32 appearances. Awesome, awesome, awesome from those two. Young player of the month, Regina. Um, Jack Robinson in my team came third. FWA, I think this is rightest player of the season. Rooney, Gerard, and Modric. Goal of the season went to Kaita. It's a shit goal. Not even going to show it. PFA Player of the Year went to Yaya Torre. Then it went to Niklas Gaitan of Arsenal and Carlos Tevez. Um, I don't know how Gareth Bale got it last year. Then the Young Player of the Year went to Sergio Aguero. Sami Nasri came second and Marouane Fellaini finished top four. I will be looking into Marouane Fellaini perhaps. Um... And other, actually, I'll be looking into a lot of transfers. I'll, I'll see how I can improve the squad and who wants to come now. Pretty good. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's uh, let us go to Carling Cup. Um, and the Carling Cup, we won. Unbelievable. 
unbelievable. It started with a uh, with a 4-2 extra time win against Crystal Palace. Um, I left this uh, and I just played it and then I, I played my reserves. Brought on Shane Long, did the job. Extra time, fantastic. Sunderland away, beat them 1-0 at home. Shane Long again with the goal. Newcastle, fourth round. Everyone um, everyone was playing their reserves. I, I just went in with my first team, to be honest with you. This is probably why I won. Um, I got worried at Tottenham again, and then I realised they were playing the reserves, or reserves East. They had a pretty strong squad. They had Friedel, Walker, um, Livermore, Rose, Van der Vaart, and Saha. I was a little bit worried, but uh, we managed to pull out the win. Uh, pretty convincing as well, at White Hart Lane. Uh, first leg of the semi-final, then we lost against... Nottingham Forest. Um, I actually was playing with my mum, uh, playing, and I was talking to my mate, and I, I gave him control of my computer, and I let him play that match, and he lost, <laughs> and then he gave it back, and then managed to get a one 0 win through Charlton Gera, and make it into the final against Manchester United. And I thought I was probably going to lose, but they played the reserves: Phil Jones, Park Ji Young, and Lindegaard was amazing in this game, by the way. Shane Long missed a penalty in the fifth minute. Pissed off about that with James Morrison. Two minutes after bringing, bringing him on as a sub, he scores and wins us the Carling Cup. Unbelievable, Jeff. That is a good first season. Even though I played my first team and like broke the unspoken rule of playing your reserves. We'll move on to... Actually, we'll move keep on the FA Cup. I mean, the Carling Cup. Oh, there's no awards and bullshit. Um, stats don't really matter for that. FA Cup, then. We won the FA Cup. <laughs> it's been a fantastic, fantastic season. We had luck of the draw. I'm not going to lie. We we had luck of the draw. Uh, first round we played South End, beaten 4-2, as you would expect. Um, what can you say? Just destroyed them. Next we played Aston Villa at home, beat them 2-1. 92nd minute, Shane Long, what a beauty again. At home, Wigan, 1-0, Peter Odden Wingy. And then we got Blackpool in the quarterfinals. Didn't really expect that. Belhanda, Olsen, Brunt. And then semi-finals against... This is weird, because I thought we were away, because it said Chelsea was... So I didn't think we had a chance. So in this game, what I did was I picked the team, and I went on holiday, because I thought, oh, we're going to lose anyway. It doesn't matter. I want to concentrate on the league, because at this point, I, I really wanted to finish seventh. At this point, seventh, because that was where we were going, and we were on a barren run, and... We were dropping points, so I thought we might have overtaken. So, oh, sorry, I'm stretching there. Long video. Oh, so I played my reserves. Actually, no, I didn't play my first team. And um, well, a few reserve players there. Um, but yeah, I just literally went on holiday. I came back and I just saw West Brom win FA Cup semi-finals. I was actually on the floor. Um, laughing, um, of course, because <laughs> Chelsea is shit for not beating me. And then we played Newcastle in the final. This was a nervy game. Now, Newcastle probably had the majority... Well, as you can see, we had the majority of the stuff. Um, I was scared, though, because Papi Cissé has been an absolute beast for them this season. And they had Denver Bar up front. They had a pretty scary, scary team. Their whole team was pretty good. Look at their midfield. They had their first team, basically. You know, Bar, Cisse, Ben Arfa, Teote, Kabai, Gutierrez, Santon, Colicini, Williamson, Simpson and Krul. But then so did I. Arden Wingy, Long, Brunt, Balhanda, Malumbu, Jason, Thomas, Olsen, Caldwell, Olsen, um, Reed, and Ben Foster. Other than Ridgewell, of course, who was injured, I think. And we managed to win 2-1. On fucking believable, Jeff. Arden Wingy, Shane Long, the legends once again, 94th minute. Um... Goal for Ryan Taylor. Didn't really make a difference, as you can see. Not Four minutes of added time. Three minutes of added time, sorry. And he scored in the 94th minute. Pissed me off a little bit, but we still got the win. Unbelievable. First season in charge. Sixth. Carling Cup, FA Cup. Now, um, squad. Um, players of the season. Um, probably... Um, Shane Long, Ben Shane Long, Olsen, um, Brunt, Morrison, and Odin Wingy. Probably my players of the season. Uh, maybe Malumbu a little bit as well. I'm not not too hundred percent. I mean, he didn't do anything spectacular. I think he just did the job, to be honest. And he's probably one of our best players. But I'm happy. I'm really, really happy. I'm really enjoying this save. 
as you can see, the board have decided to upgrade the stadium and the youth facility is very happy with that. Um, I do predict a little bit of a stunted growth uh, from West Brom because of the players and potential funds as well. You know, we've got old players. People like Reed is not going to make it. Like we've got Europa, we've got Europa next season, and people that I don't think can make it: Fulop, Reed, Billy Jones, um, Ridgewell might be able to, Caldwell might be able to, Olsen definitely will, Manga definitely will, Olsen will, uh, Malumbi will, and Zonzi will, Gearham will, he won't, absolutely not. Gira, Thomas won't, Morrison won't, Brunt getting old, perhaps, Dorans, in my opinion, won't, Belhanda will, <clears throat> Odom Wingy and Shane Long, it's a maybe, like I don't know if they can step up to that kind of level, Choi definitely can't, Cadlech will in the future, we're getting rid of Choi, getting Fierro in, he will in the future as well, but my problem with that is that we've got too many sort of players, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick Fierro in the reserves, Put him out on loan, give him some experience, um, and play him in the first team if I have to. If I have any injuries and stuff as well, it's good backup. Good, good backup indeed. Um, I don't. Oh, sick! Oh, that's awesome! I didn't know I could do that. Okay, that's wicked. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm predicting. A little bit of a stunted growth. I think we'll finish consistently in the top half, but I'm gonna have to have a shuffle around with the players and stuff like that, and it's gonna be a little bit of a juggle, to be honest with you. Um, I don't know how much I've got for the new season, don't know, but that's the update for all the guys who've been following it, all the people that um, haven't been and watched this video because they've been interested. Thank you for watching guys, hope you enjoyed it, if you did hit that like button for we winning the Carling Cup and the FA Cup, doing a cup double first season, unbelievable, improving my reputation to continental, unbelievable in the first season. Yeah, have a nice day guys, hope you enjoyed the video, see you next time.